The Dagger Duchess is finally out in Clash Royale and today we are going to unlock her along with the Evolve Battle Ram. We're going to use both these cards in the same deck and absolutely dominate. So let's claim our free Dagger Duchess that everyone gets and boom, there we go, we have just unlocked her. Now to get the Evolve Battle Ram, we need to buy the Diamond Pass Royale. And as always, if you are buying the pass, make sure to come over to the shop first and type in code UFO. But there we go, our purchase was successful. We have unlocked the Pass Royale, which is awesome. And that means we have now unlocked the Evolve Battle Ram, which is one of the best evolutions. Now, before we use the Dagger Duchess on Ladder, we need to level her up because right now she's only a level 9. So, of course, we're going to be buying some of these special offers. Once again, if you buy any of these offers, code UFO. So, there we go. She's now level 14. And, of course, the best deck for the Evolve Battle Ram is Pekka Bridge Spam. Pekka Bridge Spam has gotten a crazy amount of buffs recently. First of all, the Evolve Zap, one of the best spells in the entire game. The Evolve Battle Ram, one of the best evolutions. The Pekka got a range buff and the Magic Archer got a faster first hit speed. They have been buffing Pekka Bridge Spam like crazy and we're going to use it to absolutely dominate on ladder. Into another game and this guy's a good player. He has a top 300 finish. First play, we are going to start with a Battle Ram. Obviously, I just want to cycle closer to my Evo and the Dagger Dashes can fully counter wall breakers and that's beautiful stuff. Battle Ram connects to the tower. He goes for a Miner as well. We are going to get a Magic Archer lineup here, do some extra chip damage and really frustrate my opponent. This is where the Dagger Dashes shines. She's going up against Swarmy decks, Fast Cycle decks. This is where she's going to really perform well. And we are going to go for a Pekka here on this Prince. A very easy defense here. And it's going to clog the lane. Stopping this guy from spamming into my Dagger Duchess while she reloads. I could zap that but honestly I don't really want to. I do however want to go for a second Battle Ram. Pekka almost got the swing there. That would have been beautiful but not quite. Okay second Battle Ram going towards the tower here. Obviously the next Battle Ram now is going to be Evoed. And that is going to be so good for us. Here we are going to have to Little Prince on defense. And we are going to also pop the ability. Doing that to just stop this Mega Knight. We also do hit the Miner which is very nice. Dagger Duchess once again melting everything. Little Prince helping out. Going to Bandit opposite lane just to be annoying. Apply that double lane pressure like I was talking about. And we do force out a Prince that is absolutely fine. Prince coming towards me down this left lane. We are going to Royal Ghost just to stop the Prince in its tracks. We do counter it fully, that's awesome. Royal Ghost goes invisible with one hit point, going to get a swing on the tower, that's very nice. And you guys can see it there in the next slot. The Evolved Battle Ram is coming and there's nothing this guy can do about it. Going to go for a Magic Archer here, just a cycle. He says, wow, this guy's in disbelief and he goes for a Mega Knight at the back. Okay, that's absolutely fine. We're going to go for a Pekka at the back. We don't want to Battle Ram into it, so we are going to play it a little bit slow and safe. Anyway, Magic Archer doesn't quite line up to the tower, but that's okay. Going to obviously zap away these skellies. Do not want them hitting my tower. Down the other lane, the Dagger Dash just fully counters minions. Again, that's just crazy. We are going to go for a Evo Battle Ram down this left lane, and the Evo Battle Ram connects to the tower. It's going to keep charging on the tower until the Battle Ram breaks, and look at how much damage we did. The Evo Barbs now are popping off, and oh my, this guy got absolutely destroyed in seconds. He didn't stand a chance against this deck. Oh, it's, it's three wins. It's so broken. Oh, pay to win at his finest. We have the Evo Zap as well. We're just going to play it for fun, because why not? And that is good game. I think this deck might be the new meta and I am very scared for the game. That guy barely touched my towers. He only got a little bit of minor chip damage and we completely destroyed him. Okay, we're up against the Dagger Duchess. This is very awesome. So we are going to go Battle Ram first play. Once again, we want to cycle closer to our Evo Battle Ram. And the Dagger Duchess does a very good job against the Battle Ram. She actually takes out the Battle Ram before it hits the tower. But we are going to get a nice Magic Archer lineup here. He does log, that's absolutely fine. We are going to also go for a Bandit, doing that just to distract the Knight a little. And yeah, we got some good damage there. He goes for another Knight, which is absolutely fine. We are just going to Royal Ghost that away. And he is going to rush this lane because obviously my Dagger Duchess right now is out of daggers. No Tesla in cycle, so I actually do want to go for a Battle Ram opposite lane. See what he does here. He might go Skellies. He doesn't. 
That's absolutely fine. Royal Ghost got some damage, that's okay. And right now we're just going to play it slow and steady wins the race. Obviously my Dagger Dodge just fully counters a Firecracker, it doesn't even get a shot off. And we are going to go for a Magic Archer at the back just so I do not leak Elixir. I should also cycle my Zap, get closer to my Evo Zap, that's a good idea. And what is he doing down this left lane? He goes for a Knight and a Tesla, that's A-OK. -okay. Royal Ghost is going to clean up this Knight. He doesn't go for a Hog Rider this time. That's okay. Oh, yes, he does. Never mind. Okay, so this time we go for a Pekka. Pekka obviously fully counters the Hog Rider, no problemo. Bandit is going to dash onto that Firecracker. That is beautiful. Whoa, wait, wait, we rush this left side right now because he, the Dagger Dushes is out of daggers. Evo Battle Ram coming down the lane. He goes for a freeze or an ice boot, but it doesn't quite work. The battle ram is going to keep charging against the tower. And this is why the battle ram is the best evolution. It's still going. He's angry. Yeah, I would be too, buddy. You just got absolutely destroyed. Oh, he goes for a earthquake. Who cares about an earthquake? You just got three crowned. Why? Okay, one more win and we get this emote. And right now, I'm just in disbelief. Battle Ram opposite lane, it bypasses. Hits the tower once, twice, three times with the Evo Bobs. Evo Bobs is so dumb. I play one Battle Ram and I win. And there we go, we claim the emote. For all you emote lovers that want to see this emote, here it is. But that's going to wrap it up for today. Make sure you guys leave a like and check out this video above my head.